What chapter are you on, Jerome? African music, Mama. You know, I never knew the culture of our people was so rich. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. The only thing that would make me happier is if you took that basketball magazine out of that book. How'd you do that anyway? It's called Mama Vision. It lets me see through anything I gave birth to, especially you. I hate boys. If Lena calls, say I'm not here. You want to tell me what happened? No. Okay, I respect your privacy. What happened? Boyfriend Leonard kissed another girl at a birthday party Saturday night. Oh. Man, are you saying that lame boy Leonard's got two chicks putting the lip lock on him and I've only got one? No, I'm saying he's got two and you've got none. That's even worse. So, Jarvis, what's the details? Oh, come on. I'm not really comfortable talking about this stuff with you, Mama. Oh, come on. Right now, I'm not your mama. I'm your friend. So give it up. Okay. The girl he kissed was Charlene Smith. It was her party. So what? It was probably just a harmless happy birthday pet. Not unless his tongue was supposed to be his present. You better watch your tongue in this house. Hey, you, you said we were friends. In the future, pick your friends more wisely. Hi, baby. Hey, Mama. How come the washing machine sounds funny? Sounds normal to me. It's supposed to go... Not... Yeah, right. I bet five bucks you don't even know which one is the washing machine. Oh! Oh, no. Is it that one? <laughs> How you doing, baby? I heard about what happened with you and Leonard. Leonard who? The boy who's in all those pictures you've been crying on. Oh, him. I'm real sorry, Denisha. I don't know what Leonard could have been thinking. Mama, we don't have to waste our time talking about Leonard. As far as I'm concerned, he doesn't exist. Now, let me ask you something, Denisha. If you could put aside what he did, would you still like that little two-timing sucker? <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, let's make up a balance sheet. The pluses and the minuses of Leonard. Now, before this happened, what was it that you liked about Leonard? Well, he was sweet, considerate, intelligent. Mm-hmm. Pretty eyes, deceptively strong arms. And he's got a real cute... Okay, 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 that's fine. <laughs> now, what was it that you didn't like about him? Well, let's see. His hair was a little out of style. Well, that's all I can think of right now. Huh. Well, looking at this, seems like Leonard is one haircut away from the Homeboy Hall of Fame. Well, I don't care because I don't need him. I got Willie Dupree and Mark Turner begging to take me out. Well, not to influence you, Denisha, but new boys are a high-risk investment. Leonard is money in the bank. I'm not going to take him back after what he did. And you shouldn't. Not until he's been properly schooled in the three R's of womanly payback. Rejection, reproach, and retribution. <laughs> Only when he gets his diploma will he be worthy of the fair Denisha. I like that. How do we do it? <laughs> By making Lena suffer with slow, carefully applied pain. The kind of pain that makes a man stare at the ceiling all night and mumble to himself all day. <laughs> when y'all get back together, he'd rather pucker up to a pit bull than kiss another girl. And what if we don't get back together? Then we torture them just for fun. <laughs> Looks like 
a lot of dirty laundry. I know what it is. I want to know what it means. It means the washing machine has taken an unscheduled vacation. And it didn't say when it was coming back. So we're all going to be spending some quality time at the laundromat. Oh, see, I knew it. Soon as I walked in the door, I caught a bad vibe off those bags. And a bad smell, too. <laughs> Why don't we just buy a new washing machine? Because I have very little cash and even less credit. And if I write one more check, you're going to find me on the side of some road wearing an orange vest, poking trash with a stick. <laughs> okay, Ma, I'm in. But not right away, because I have a lawn to cut every afternoon this week. And I got to keep working at the market and cutting hair to pay the bills. And I have choir practice after school the next three days. <laughs> oh, and I've got to meet my associates down at the rec center. <laughs> please, please don't do this to me. <laughs> it's not a life sentence, Jerome. You just get the honor of going first. Now, we all going to have to pitch in until Uncle Charles fixes the washing machine. Fix it again? Man, that thing's dead. We might as well bury it in the yard alongside of Rusty. Mama, you said Rusty ran away. <laughs> Hey, Charles. What's up? Mmm. I just baked a pecan pie. How about a slice? Well, you bet I love pecan pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Charles, what is it about you? Has it been working out, girl? I don't know. Have you, baby? No, but I do try to squeeze in a couple of push-ups every morning. <laughs> well, it's working because you are so well defined. <laughs> What's going on here? I get a compliment from you about as often as I get an invitation to join a country club. Now, Charles, that's not true. Now, just the other day, I was telling somebody about all your good qualities. I said, my brother-in-law, he's so handsome, so sensitive, and a mechanical genius. I got it. Something's busted, right? It better not be that wash again. <laughs> Come on, baby. Cut the some slack. She's broken. She can't live without a washing machine. You know my policy about doing repairs after work. Every day when Mr. Sun goes down, so does a lid on Mr. Toolbox. Charles Russell, are you trying to tell me you're going to sit here and eat my sister's pecan pie and not even look at that washing machine? Well, yeah. <laughs> then you better eat the whole doggone thing, because that's the last sugar you're going to get for a long time. I suppose a little peep won't hurt. Hey, Mama. Leonard's here. Well, it's about time he showed his sorry hide. What's up with Leonard? Well, he went to some birthday party without Denisha and some little fast heifer tried to shake Say her no little... more. <laughs> well, hello, Leonard. Hi, Miss Terrell. I was just waiting while Jarvis looks for Denisha. Mm-hmm. I doubt he'll find her. Unless he looks in the back of her closet. Well, what's she doing in there? I wish I knew. She won't talk, she won't eat, and she did some very disturbing things to James G.I. Joe. <laughs> Anything unusual happen lately? Uh, no. No, ma'am, not that I'm aware of. It's probably just teenage mood swings. You all got all those hormones shooting through you. It's almost impossible to control now, isn't it, Lena? Yes, ma'am. Hormones are a problem. Well, you can go up and try to coax Denisha down if you'd like. But maybe it'd be wise to wait till she's feeling better. Or until we get those steak knives away from her. Uh, I think I'll wait. Good night, ma'am. Bye, Lena. Man, that was cold. A man's gonna make a little mistake now and then. What he needs is a woman who can forgive and forget. Like my sweet Lynette. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. You know, one time we were at a Christmas party. And as my bad luck would have it, I happened to be standing right under the mistletoe. When this frisky little fox in this itty-bitty Santa outfit came up to me. And without so much as a ho-ho-ho, started doing the forbidden dance. <laughs> But you could tell it didn't mean anything. You pretended you didn't even know it happened. <laughs> you 
didn't know it happened. Not until now. <laughs> Lynette, come on, baby, it wasn't me, it was the eggnog dancing. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi there, Lynn. No, Denise is not in. She went to study with that nice boy, Willie Dupree. Oh, oh, was it Mark Turner and Willie Dupree last night? Oh, I'm gonna have to start making them wear name tags, child. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell her you call. Okay, bye. Denisha, Lynn, it call. <laughs> Hey, y'all, uh, if any of my colleagues call, tell them I'll be hooping at the gym. All right. Now, wait a minute. There's a half a dozen loads of wash that need a lift to the laundromat. Now, whose turn is it? Denisha's? I went last time, remember? Well, you must have done it wrong, because my shirt feels all itchy. <laughs> Look, don't blame it on me. Maybe you're getting the measles. Uh, Hold on there, Dr. Huxtable. The patient has an unusual aroma as well. And while we're talking laundry, wear my black jeans. I don't know where you left them. Jerome? There seems to be a number of laundry discrepancies that happen on your watch. Don't get caught up in this, Mama. It's nothing but mass hysteria. Mom, have any idea why I just caught a buzz off my stock drawer? You see that? It's spreading like wildfire. Jerome, the truth now. Okay. There I was at the laundromat. Separating, sorting. Doing my best is something in which I have absolutely no God-given talent. <laughs> Suddenly, I turn around, and there standing in the door was potential disaster in the person of Allison Bell, the finest woman in all the ninth grade. I had a dream about that girl in which, well, let's just say, if it had been a movie, I wouldn't have been admitted. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I couldn't let her see me fluff drying, so I dug down, grabbed the stuff, and snuck out. So what did you do with all of the laundry, Jerome? Well, I believe I folded up the stuff that wasn't too nasty and put it back in the closet. <laughs> now, the rest is under that blue tarp out in the garage. What? Oh, my Wait, God. You's gonna get it. <laughs> Are you saying that um, I'm wearing the same underwear that I had on last week? <laughs> Not necessarily. They could be the ones I had on last week. Oh, boy! Hakeem Olajuwon? Yeah! Is that... How? Michael Jordan? Oh, yeah! That's you, Jerome? Oh. Hi. Allison? Wouldn't expect you to do laundry. Well, I have no choice. My sister won't even come here. At least until they catch that guy. What guy? You mean you haven't heard? Laundry mats all over being hit by this, uh, detergent kleptomaniac. <laughs> Why would somebody want to steal detergent? Well, that's not the worst of it. Sometimes he goes for your fabric softener, too. <laughs> so, you're saying if it weren't for this detergency, you wouldn't be doing laundry? A guy like me? What do you think? Well, I admire men who do this. You do? I believe it makes a man more of a man. Uh-huh. Why? It shows that he's so secure, he's not worried how it looks. Okay, I'm on board that train. <laughs> and he understands that a family has to help each other out with everything, even the laundry. You know, my sentiments exactly. Share the load by doing them. Let me help you folks. Thank you, Jerome. These are always so hard. Ooh, tell me about it. Lately, I've been giving a lot of thoughts to the problem of fitted sheets. <laughs> uh, how's that thing looking, Charles? Well, that depends on how you look at life. Is your washer half empty or is your washer half full? Either way, it's broke. Don't give up, Charles. We're counting on you. Yeah, Uncle Charles. Don't you know that quitters never win and winners never quit? 
Don't you know what a crescent ridge feels like upside your head? I hope it gets fixed soon, because I sure don't want to go back to that laundromat. Me neither. Man, I can't tell you how it grieves me to hear my own family wailing and whining over something as petty as doing a little laundry. But with all the trouble there is in the world and all the blessings that have been bestowed upon us. <laughs> Who are you and what have you done with Jerome? Fear this wash has seen its day. My advice is you take it out into the yard and lay it to rest alongside that cat. You mean Whiskers didn't run away? <laughs> Adios. I didn't know about Whiskers. Man. <laughs> You're in luck, Leonard. Denisha's home. But she's in the shower, so she can't come to the phone. <laughs> so why don't you just come on by? I'm sure she'd be thrilled to see you. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Bye. Mama, why did you do that? Do you want to get back together with Leonard or not? I guess, eventually. Well, it's time to let go of the first R and move on to the second. A little gentle reproach. Leonard can't take much more rejection. Well, then you're going to have to do it because I'm not ready to see him. I wouldn't even know the first word to say. Jarvis, pretend you're Leonard. I beg your pardon? I'll be Denisha and you try to make up to me. Oh, come on, Mama. I cannot impersonate a geek like Leonard. Shut your mouth, Jarvis. Hey, now, I, I meant geek in a good way. <laughs> Just try to do the best you can. They aren't going to smooch or anything, are they? That's disgusting, man. Shut up. Hello, Denisha. <laughs> Jarvis. Hey, that's how he sounds. Hi, Leonard. <laughs> Mama, that's what you sound. What's on your mind, Leonard? Well... You probably heard about me and Charlene Smith, and uh, I just want to say I'm really sorry. When you say you're sorry, Leonard, what does that really mean? Do you like her better than me? No. Do you think she has a better body? <laughs> We're talking about Denisha, right? No, definitely not. Then why'd you kiss her? I guess I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, I was more like the kissy. Uh-huh, and how many other girls have attacked you lately? <laughs> We're talking about Leonard, right? <laughs> None, I swear. You're the only girl I ever want to kiss. I wish I could believe you, Leonard. Truly, I do. But it's like I don't even know you anymore. I guess I'm really a creep. Go on. <laughs> but... If you'll take me back, I promise I'll never do it again. Well, I don't know. It's too soon. The pain is too fresh. Oh, it is not. You're back. Take me to the movies on Saturday. <laughs> you ready, baby? I think so. Can I change a few words here and there? Sure. Every cook has her own recipe. The important thing is to keep the heat on until it's done. <laughs> Mama, you were great. Jarvis, you need help. <laughs> Why, hello, Leonard. Hello, Denisha. <laughs> I told you that's how it sounds. Leah, mm. I know how to fix your washer. Great, Charles. Came to me last night in a dream. My sister must really be treating you right if you're dreaming about washing machines. <laughs> hi, Mama. Hi, Uncle Charles. Hey, Denisha. What's the matter? You and Leonard have another fight? No way. He's been so sweet. If I wanted a hassle, I'd probably have to set him on fire. <laughs> What's wrong? I guess I'm still wondering why Leonard had to go and kiss that Charlene. He doesn't even like her. Excuse me. I think I'm going to go take a nap to see if I can figure out what's wrong with my transmission. Oh, hold on, Charles. Your niece needs a male perspective on this. Really, Thea? I don't, I don't have any perspective. None at all. Sit down, Charles. My perspective, you got it. Now, to truly understand the mysteries of love, we have to go way back in history. You may not learn about this in Sunday school, so here goes the gospel according to Thea, so pull up a pew. 
Now, in the beginning, there was woman. Oh, boy. Man hadn't been invented yet, so there was no crime, no war, and no mud wrestling. Hey, you can't pin all that on us. I know you're not talking during the gospel talk. <laughs> Go on, Mama. What happened next? Well, the world was a pretty peaceful place. Every woman helped her sister, and if they had a disagreement, they worked it out peacefully. But there were still a few problems, like bears and lions stealing food, cave doors coming off hinges, and it wasn't like woman couldn't handle it, but she was getting awfully sweaty and breaking a lot of fingernails. And so she asked God for help, and what she got was man. This is blasphemy. So, Mama, you're saying that man was created just to fight animals and fix stuff? At first, yes. That's why he was given such big bones, big muscles, and such a small brain. I'm out of here. I'm going to convert to a more user-friendly religion. <laughs> now, you see, that's the same reaction early man had. So to keep man from stoning out of the cave all the time, God created something exciting and wonderful, and he called it love. But man can only get love from one place. Us. That's right. Sometimes man's not always sharp enough to know what love is. That's why he's always running around looking for it when it's staring him right in the face. Well, what are we supposed to do about that? Teach him. And most can be taught. And once your man's got it down, you and he have something more precious than anything in the whole wide world. Well, how long did it take you to teach daddy? Now, your daddy, he was a fast learner. Of course, getting with me was like going to love boot camp. <laughs> Hey, Denisha, isn't it your day to do the laundry? Oh, don't worry. It'll get done. I'm not worried. I want to know where it is. Excuse me, Denisha, but does permanent press go on high? No, honey. Those are the cottons. Why don't I write it all down for you? Hey, Leonard, you two need some time to work on your relationship. Why don't you let me take that? If you really want to. Yeah. Leonard? It's okay, man. I'd rather do it. <laughs> well, you can't, because this is mine. Go home and get your own laundry. <laughs>